This is the best physical evidence that we've had in this case in the 23 and a half or how many ever years it is that, that, that we worked on it. Fond du Lac authorities say they may be getting closer to making a cold case arrest. But they say they're still looking for help from the public to try to solve the decades old mystery of Barrett Beck. The point is, is that we're hoping, you know, that somebody out there remembers. What's leading to the renewed hopes? Topping tonight's Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. Right now, still no arrest in Barrett Beck's homicide. She was last seen alive in July of 1990. 18 years old at the time, she was on her way from Sturdivant, south of Milwaukee, to Appleton for work. She never made it. Her body was later found, more than a month later, in a ditch in rural Fond du Lac County near Waupon. An autopsy determined she had been asphyxiated. Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays on the story today. Listen to what investigators had to say. And Gabrielle, still a lot we don't know. That's right, Tom. Fond du Lac investigators say they have evidence and a suspect in Beck's death. But they say despite the breaks in the case, there are still some questions that need to be answered. It was the first time I thought we had tangible physical, physical evidence to intimately put someone in the interior of that, that van. Investigators say a 60-year-old truck driver from Kenosha is their prime suspect. They say he was inside the van Barrett Beck was driving the day she disappeared. However, that man has not been arrested or charged. 70 pieces of evidence have been submitted with this case so far. The evidence includes pictures of the Kenosha man's hands, one of which is deformed. One of the uh, things in discussing with the crime lab, we learned that having photographs of uh, this individual's hands would help them in analyzing some of the physical evidence that's already uh, been in the possession of the sheriff's office. Officials would not give any more details on the evidence they've collected, but said they are making progress. There is also numerous other follow-up interviews that are taking place and follow-up witnesses are continuing to be contacted. Fox 11 talked with Barrett Beck's mother, Diane Beck, on Sunday. After this amount of time, it's, it's kind, of, um, kind of shocking. For once, it feels different than everything before. Uh, it's, it's making us feel more confident that we're, we're about to move ahead in this investigation. Investigators say they've never given up on the Beck case. Back then, you know, we, we viewed that case as a, uh, a bold, stranger abduction. It has been a nightmare since the day it happened. And investigators are still looking for answers to help them solve this case. If somebody knows something, they need to come forward and tell us. We need their help. If you have any information on the Barrett Beck case, you are asked to call the Fond du Lac Sheriff's Office Crime Tip Line. The number is 920-906-4777. And remember, you can remain anonymous.